mythic women. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this it? A mythic story. Have you ever heard of one that's not old and stale? Oh, but if you're talking about some dragons and centaurs, no, it's time to tell you of a woman's tale. There's a narrative that's now unfolding, and I bet it's one you've never heard of before. Now this time it's even though this top four dancing, putting on her shoes as she's ready for more. Another chance, another day, and all the pulling back the curtains for an expo day. Give it 
up for the cast of Mythic Women! Welcome everyone to the Drama Coalition Awards for 2022. My name is Kimia. And my name is Abigail. And, yes. and we are the awards coordinators for this year's show. The Duggies, named after Hart House's general manager, Doug Floyd, are a time for us to join together and celebrate this year's fantastic season of student theater. We have tonight actors, directors, designers, executive members, and crew members from all of the societies. This season featured six Drama Fest submissions and over 15 shows with everything from Shakespeare to horny teenagers. <laughs> Before we begin, we'd like to offer a land acknowledgement. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto and Hart House Theatre operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. For those of you joining us virtually, please feel free to check out native-land.ca to find out more about the land you are currently situated on. We would also like to remind you to please remain masked throughout the entire event unless you're performing on stage. And please refrain from eating or drinking unless you're sharing with your hosts. <laughs> there will also be a 15 minute intermission. If by any chance you were a winner of the 2021 Duggies or years before, all of the awards are sitting on a table in the lobby so you can grab those at any time. And if you are here virtually, you can coordinate with Jillian Lewis on when to pick those up. All right, so I think we should get the show started now. As we, yes. <laughs> As we announce each category's nominations, please refrain from cheering slash applauding in between names or we will be here forever. The winners will then come on stage, receive their trophy, then head over to Kelsey in the lobby at the photo wall we spent all of our budget on, so please use it. <laughs> Awesome, let's begin. Here to start off this evening's award is Drama Coalition's Vice President, the lovely Bryn Bonnie. Hello, all right, before we get started with the formal awards, I would like to present the Audience Choice Award. This is up to you the audience. So you should have received an email this morning with a link to a Google Doc, a Google Form, to vote on your favorite show of the season, whether it's musical, play, variety, special project, virtual, what have you. Your job is to vote for your favorite show of the year. You can have time for that during intermission. And if you don't have it, well, I'll post it in the Facebook group by then. Great, but let's get started with best set design. The award for best set design is awarded to the artist with the most thoughtful and interesting set design that contributed to the world of the production. And the nominees are Carol Chen for Haldi Kwan versus The Timekeeper, Amelia Finley for Spring Awakening, Chloe Castrucci and Anthony Palermo for Mythic Women and their Cabaret to Save Humanity, Sabrina Weinstein for The Year and the Two of Us Back Here, and Sydney Scott for Rihanna Boy 95. And the Dougie goes to Chloe Castrucci and Anthony Palermo for Mythic Women! Congratulations, Chloe and Anthony. The next award of the night offer, honors the top stage manager and production designers and managers for this year's shows. The possession often deals with complex organization, quick problem solving, and multitasking. And it's a really hard task, so we want to take note of all of the amazing stage managers and production managers here. You've all done incredible work, and we are very grateful for you. Yeah. Woo! So this award recognizes efficient and effective work like coordinating actors, props, and tech elements. For Best Production slash Stage Manager Award, the nominees are Allison Starkey for The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama, Jonah Nung for Casimir and Caroline, Ness Wong for Spring Awakening, Sabrina Weinstein for Bag Babies, and Shashwat Agarwal for 18 Palace Road. And the winner is 
Ness Wong for Spring Awakening. We've been going for less than half an hour and I've already made a mistake. <laughs> Thank you, Ness, for all of your hard work on Spring Awakening. The next uh, award is Best Costume Design and here to present it is the amazingly dressed executive, Jefferson. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> so, the award for best costume design goes to the most outstanding, thoughtful, and functional costumes that support the world of the production. The nominees for best costume design are Bryn Bonnie for Bag Babies, Gabriel Wu for High School Musical on stage, Gabriel Wu for Mythic Women and their cabaret to save humanity, Hannah Fleisch for the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Kara Austria for Spring Awakening. And, oh, and, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And the Dougie goes to Gabriel Wu for Mythic Women! Congratulations, and thank you, Gabriel, for all of your hard work. Our next award is for Best Lighting Design, and here to present the award is DC's Technical Representative, Allison Starkey. Hello, hello. So the nominees for, oh, I have a thing to say first. This award is given out to the artist with the most exceptional use of lighting design, coordination, and crafting that contributed to the world of the production. The nominees for Best Lighting Design are Beatrice Friedman for the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Emily Popel for The Wolves, Isabella Chisari for Spring Awakening, Jasmine Jenkinson for Fight or Flight, and Tara Costello for Radium Girls. And yes! The award goes to Beatrice Friedman for Rocky Horror. Thank you, Beatrice, for all of your amazing work this season. Yeah! <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Is that the faint noise of babies? <laughs> oh my god! Hide your wives, hide your furs, the bag babies are coming! Are you tired of Yeah. 
you're tired of greed, tired of greed. Want to do a good deed, do a good deed, do a good deed for a friend in need. Here's a friend in need, here's a friend in need. We can help you succeed, cause all you have to do is call on the phone. Give us a ring, sing a ring. suddenly feel very compelled to purchase a bag baby. Um, <laughs> uh, hi everybody, my name is Chloe Flowers and I'll be presenting the award for best sound design. Uh, we had so many amazing sound designers this year and this award recognizes audio techniques and program sounds that brought an element of life to each production in a clean and cohesive way. The nominees for best sound design are Alison Starkey for The Grey, a wild audio drama. <laughs> we love artists. <laughs> we just snaps. Alison Starkey for Mythic Women in Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Emily Popel for The Wolves. Liam Peter Donovan for Bag Babies. And Liam Peter Donovan for The Year and the Two of Us Back Here. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> And the coveted Dougie Award goes to Alison Starkey for The Grey, A Wild Dog. So, we had the Drama Fest Awards, the Drama Festival this year. I don't know if anyone here came to see it, but we had a wonderful time. Hi. Um, so, um, I got to coordinate it with the wonderful Valeria Ventura, who's up there in the booth, stage managing this show. Um, we got to be on the Hard House stage for the first time in a couple of years, which was really, really powerful to be in. Um, we had to have some... COVID rules to move around. We had a limited audience, but we, that meant we did have an audience, which was really important to the people performing this year. Um, we had audience of the other shows. There was some online viewing afterwards. We had a wonderful uh, judge this year named Brian Pistallion. Yes. <laughs> um, so um, hopefully we'll have it fully in person next year, but we wanted to congratulate the winners of this year fully in person, in public, at the Duggies. Um, so the awards, um, I'll we'll do the full awards first. So the IATSE Local 58 Award for Technical Achievement goes to the design team for Black Stack from SMCT. Um, anyone wants to come up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through, yeah. <laughs> Um, the next award is the Donald Sutherland Award for Best Performance, which is Abby Akinlade, are you here? For Back Stacks from St. Mike's. She's not here, okay, awesome. Um, the next award is the Robert Gill Award. <laughs> oh, she is here! Hi! <laughs> um, the next award is the Robert Gill Award for Best Direction, which goes to Valeria Ventura, who's in the booth, um, for A Terrible Beauty is Born from Vic. Um, the next award is the President's Award for Best Production, which goes to the company of A Terrible Beauty is Born from v VCS. And this year we have four awards of merit. Um, the first one is the Outstanding Ensemble Performance for A Terrible Beauty is Born from Vic. Uh, who wants to come up? Maybe? Okay. Um, and the second one is the Outstanding Achievement in Community Building to student number 10, which was our only independent submission this year, which was wonderful. If anyone's here from that. 
that's okay. Um, the next award was the Playwriting Award of Merit to Julia Repai for Black Stack. Amazing. And the final Award of Merit is the uh, Award of Merit for Set and Lighting Design for Under a Scorpion Sky from the UC Follies. Awesome. And that was the festival. Thanks, everyone. Were they not said? Okay. I missed a couple. I'm so sorry. Um, this is the Janet uh, Bessie Award for Excellence in Stage Management. That goes to Helen Ho. Helen! <laughs> Amazing. Um, and the last award is the Roberts and Davies o Playwriting Award. Look at my notes. This is for A Terrible Beauty is Born from VCDS. Is Therese here? Probably not. That's okay. This is for Therese. And so we have three Audience Choice Awards. These were voted on throughout the virtual um, production that was going on on YouTube. So the three Audience Choice Awards go to, for the first episode, for TCDS, Together But Apart, Valerio Come Up. Um, for episode two, um, it was for the UC Follies, Under a Scorpion Sky. I will take this for now. And then... And um, the, for episode three was the SMCT show, Black Stack. Woo! And you get a plant! Yay, life! <laughs> Amazing! Thanks, everyone! Can you guys believe we're finally back in a theater after like, what, two years? Didn't it feel like forever? We thought COVID was never gonna leave. Kind of like Anthony in campus theater? Abby, don't say that. You know, one day they might cast us in something. You're right, you're right. Ooh, maybe they'll cast us as vocally talented, historically inaccurate women from the past. Oh my God, <laughs> yes. Or maybe we can beg Shreya to write us in a new musical. You know, she's nominated tonight. Ooh, yeah! Oh, we're supposed to present the award. Oh, shit, right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so the next award is Best Musical Achievement in a Performance. This award is recognized the, recognizes the exceptional performance by a band, composer, or performer in any performance category. And the nominees are... Anthony Palermo and Benjamin Kersey for The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama. Shreya Ja for The Music and Lyrics of 18 Palace Road. Anthony Palermo for The Music and Lyrics of Mythic Women and Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. And the Band of High School Musical on stage. All right. And the award goes, oh, oh my God. <laughs> and the band of Spring Awakening. <laughs> and the award goes to Anthony Palermo for Mythic Women. everyone, so my name is Ashley, this is a little tall. My name is Ashley and I'm the current music representative on the Drama Coalition. The next award for the night is Best Musical Leadership. The award goes to the musical director or band leader that went above and beyond to put together a musically astounding show. The nominees for this category are Anthony Palermo for The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama, Hilary Chu for Spring Awakening, Rina Seeger and Jonah Nung for High School Musical on stage. Shreya Jaya for uh, Saltwater Moon. And Shreya Jaya for 18 Palace Road. And the award goes to... 
actually don't know. Hillary Chu for Spring Awakening. Discussing the wonderful work of this season's musical theater scene, it is only fitting that we have a musical performance. So give it up for the production of High School Musical and their collection of nostalgic music. I'm Doug Floyd, I'm the general manager of Hard House Theater, and this is Jillian Lewis. 
This is Jillian Lewis, our education coordinator. Um, yep. I, I have to start off by saying, by far, this is the best dressed audience we've had here in a very, very, very long time. We're here to talk about uh, the uh, UFD Spotlight Playwriting Competition, but before that, I want to say congratulations to the uh, entire Drama Coalition. Congratulations to all of you, yes? Congrats for making tonight happen, and, and congrats for making all your shows happen, like the perseverance that you've had to have this year, right? Congrats. The theater campus community is so supportive of itself, and uh, this night is just part of that. Uh, and you guys all make U of T a much better university because of it, so thank you. Yeah. Um, I did want to speak briefly about uh, next season. Uh, sometimes, yeah, don't get too excited, there's no big <laughs> announcement, but uh, uh, oftentimes I will at this occasion uh, that has never been in the theater before, this is the first time, you know, yeah. I think, that, I think this is the 11th year of the Duggies, I think. I feel weird saying the Duggies, anyway. Um, <laughs> But, but uh, uh, next season, we are, are going to uh, be having a, a major professional company in here in October, November. There's going to be opportunities for student involvement. Uh, so if you're around next year still, uh, the, please uh, keep your ears open for that. Um, and we're also going to be doing something a bit different next year as we ramp up, as you all, I think, ramp up again to even more in-person things. Um, we will be sponsoring some uh, shows uh, on this stage. So as you put your seasons together for next year and you're looking for a venue, looking for a partner, uh, who knows, you could find yourself on this stage doing your show here. So please reach out to me, okay? Yeah. So thank you again and congrats to all of you and Jillian, please, uh, all yours. Thank you. So, I'm here to talk about the U of T Spotlight Playwriting Competition, which is a yearly competition that's open to all U of T students between October and February. Student playwrights of all experience levels are encouraged to submit their original unproduced works. All winning scripts are given cash prizes. And the top winner is given time with dramaturgical talents to hone their scripts. This past year, the honor was bestowed on Sydney Phillips as the 2021 first place winner for her script, Grave Dance. For the last two years, in recognition of the times in which we are living, an additional prize was awarded for the script best suited for virtual performance adaptation. Now we have nothing to hand out tonight because all the winners have already been announced on social media and they have already received their cash prizes, but I would love it if you could honor them all with uh, some applause. Uh, our 2022 adjudicators were both U of T alumni and Polly Pokev and Anish Anushri Roy. So, the awards. Tied for third place and best virtual adaptation is Victoria McIntyre for A Line in the Dust and Anthony Palmero for The Grey, A Wild Concert. In second place is Cherry Zhang for White Rabbit. And in first place, with the big cash prize of $500, was Helen Ho for Maggie Chung's first wedding and last love. I just want to thank everyone who submitted a script uh, to be considered for the playwriting competition. For the second year in a row, we had a record number of submissions at 30 scripts. So that just shows how prolific that this campus is. So thank you very much, everybody. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. 
Doug and Jillian, please come back to the stage. Come on out. Don't be shy. So I don't know if you guys know this, but yesterday was Doug's birthday, and so I feel it's only right if we all sing him happy birthday at the Duggies. Ready, everyone? One, two, three. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy We love you both so much and we're very grateful for everything you do for us and making campus theater and just life really awesome. So thank you. Thank you. So we have another DC exec coming to present an award. So give Joanna a warm welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Joanna. I'm the UTSC representative for the Drama Coalition. And I am very, very excited to announce an award that's very near and dear to my heart. The next award of the night acknowledges exceptional design of posters, programs, and the use of social media advertising methods for the best publicity award. The nominees are... Alyssa Brubaker and Ashley Hang for the Wolves. Anthony Palermo, Sydney Scott, and Chloe Kostrucci for Mythic Woman and their cabaret to save humanity. Caleb Sandblom for the record, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Cherry Zhang for The Grey, a wild audio drama. Isabella Cesari for Saltwater Moon. And the award goes to Anthony Palermo, Chloe Kastrusi, and Sydney Scott for Mythic Woman. Hello. Hello. My name is Violet, and I love tea, scones, and most of all, I love theatre. And oh, no, I'm Violet, and you're leaving. That's not even how I sound, anyway. I tried. I tried. It's a fair attempt. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Violet, um, and the next category and next award is for best original work. This award is for an original script that has exceptionally well-developed characters and a plot that creates a unique world. The, the nominees are Anthony Palermo and Chloe <laughs> Kestri for Mythic Women and their cabaret to save humanity, Anthony Palermo for The Grey, a wild audio drama, Benji McLean, Nathan McLean, and Theo Yordaki for King Henry II, a stage reading. <laughs> Gabby Ibrahim for Fight or Flight, Tammy Yu for Halle Kwan versus The Timekeeper. Woo! And the award goes to Anthony Palermo for The Grey. <laughs> Have any of you guys seen Kimia or Abigail? No? Finally. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next award of the season recognizes the amazing producers of this year's campus theater season. I'm so happy this is the first year that this award has been awarded. Uh, this has been such a difficult year to produce theater, especially on campus. So a big round of applause for all of the alumnies, because producers do the work. And the nominees are Chloe Rose Flowers and Victoria McIntyre for the St. Michael's Troubadours. 
Abigail Lewis and Cass Iacovelli for the UC Follies. Leisha Scheiker and Joyce Juan for VCDS. Sydney Scott and the name you've heard too much tonight, Anthony Palermo. The executive team of the UTSC executive team for the UTSC Drama Society. And finally, Valeria Griganti and Madeline King for TCDS. And the Dougie goes to... Cassia Gavelli and Abigail Lewis for the UC Follies. <laughs> Producers, am I right? And now it's time for intermission. <laughs> um, we're going to take a quick 15. Um, feel free to take photos in the lobby at the photo wall that literally we were up all night making. Um, pee, talk to people, have fun. See you in 15 minutes. Bye. <laughs>
did you write this? There's a moment you know Fucked Not an inch more room To self-destruct I done? You're just a fly, the little guys, they kill for fun. And your fun is just three is for the, uh, actually, first of all, give it up for the cast of Spring Awakening. <laughs> Woo! Um, our next award is for the Best Ensemble Certificate, and this is going to the cast of Mythic Women. My name's Demi, and I'm the rep this year for TCDS. Thank you. And the next award of the night is for Rookie of the Year. So this, yeah, this award is given in recognition of newcomers to campus theater community or people who showed an interest in a new role on productions this season. So the winners of the Rookie of the Year award are... Maria Perry and Paul Meyer.
unfortunately, unfortunately uh, neither of them could be here this evening. Um, but wherever you are in the world, we want to thank you for your contributions to this community, and we hope to see more of your work in the future. And to everybody who it was their first year, we hope to keep seeing more of you. All right, thanks. They're, they're figuring it out. Hi! I have the next award with me. So, um, this award for me, it represents a lot about why we do campus theater. Um, it's, in a night like this, it's really easy to get bogged down about what awards we're getting, what achievements we won, how good our show was, or the budget we had, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this award, the Graduating Impact Award, if the slide wants to come up, um, is about the connections we made and the people we've uplifted on the way. Um, the people who are winning this award, along with all the graduates this year, have had an impact that can't be measured um, in campus theater. I can think of the numerous amount of times I've had interactions with these people who've made me a better theater creator, a better person, a better everything. So, I am very, very proud to announce, and also a slight change, um, to give a bit of recognition to our wonderful Jillian Lewis, um, the Jillian Lewis Award for Graduating Impact. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm very, very honored to give it to Cara Austria and Sabrina Weinstein. Congratulations again, you guys, and congratulations to everybody graduating this year. Um, campus theater is a really big part of our lives, and um, you all have worked really, really hard, so go team. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, where are we? Oh, hi. <laughs> the, uh, the next award goes to uh, the best choreography. And uh, this award goes to the choreographer who utilized movement in a way that benefited both the world of the play and the skills and tones of the production and its cast. The nominees for best choreography are Kath Iacovelli and Sabrina Weinstein for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Chloe Christusi for Mythic Women and Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Danya Das for Rihanna Boy 95. Emily Sugianto for Root Spring Awakening. And Vedika Jeff for High School Musical on Stage. And the Dougie goes to Emily Sugianto for Spring Awakening. Hey, Emily. Unfortunately, Emily could not be with us here tonight, but uh, good job, Emily. <laughs> Rest assured, she will get her award. Thanks. Did you miss us? Our next category is the award for best production design. This is awarded to an exceptional vision on the overall design front. And the nominees are VCDS's Bag Babies, St. Michael's College Saltwater Moon, UTM's Mythic Women and their Cabaret to Save Humanity, SMCT's Rihanna Boy, and the UC Follies Rocky Horror Picture Show. And the winner is Mythic Women. I'm back again. Hello, everyone. I am so honored to be announcing the awards for um, 
I'm looking for it. Someone didn't flip the page. We're going to keep looking. The next award of the night celebrates the actor who created a fleshed out and multi-dimensional character who suited the world of the play. The nominees for best supporting performance in a play are Anna Maria Malchev as the narrator in Saltwater Moon. Cass Iacovelli as Elaine Bag Baby Alice and Officer Kincaid in Bag Babies. Elizabeth Cherniak as Irene, the sob sister, board mender, and Miss Michaels in Radium Girls. <laughs> Ella Turan Altena as Catherine, Harriet, shop girl, and board member in Radium Girls. <laughs> Kimia Karachi as Katie Hughes in Bag Babies. <laughs> Lauren Kroll as Miss Fryer, Miss McNeil, Mary Curie, and the widow in Radium Girls. <laughs> Lev Tockle as Lee Flynn Martland Vincien Salesman in Radium Girls. These Radium Girls, they played many characters. And Nizar El Reyes as Rick Bag Baby Brad and Elgin Marbles in Bag Babies. And the Dougie goes to... Anna Maria Malchev as the narrator in Saltwater Moon. Love you, Anna Maria. <laughs> the next category is for an actor that has developed a multi-dimensional character that is suited to the world of a musical, as well as demonstrated their excellent vocal and acting abilities. So, the nominees for best supporting in a performance in a musical are Alice Whitlett as Miss Darbus in High School Musical on Stage. James Goldman as Chad in High School Musical on Stage. Lauren Kroll as Adult Woman in Spring Awakening. Maya Begojevec as Martha in Spring Awakening. Megan Campbell as Annie in 18 Palace Road. Nassim Sedegat Ramirez as Pandora in Mythic Women and their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Owen Ward as Georg in Spring Awakening and Siobhan Guiley as Sharpay Evans in High School Musical on stage. And the award goes to Alice Whitlet for Miss Darbus in High School Musical on stage. Alice unfortunately could not attend tonight, but either way, congratulations on her performance. It was amazing. Slay Miss Alice. Congratulations! The best supporting performance in a virtual show category is for the actor that created an interesting and well-developed character in a virtual medium. The nominees are, there's a lot, uh, Angelie McGuigan as Edgar in King Lear, Chelsea Young as Mary in Casimir and Caroline, Chloe Rose Flowers and Liz and as Liz in Casimir and Caroline, <laughs> Ella Altina as Fool in King Lear, <laughs> Hannah Ch Cheatham as Gloucester in King Lear, <laughs> Mashrika Mahmood as Shira in Casimir and Caroline, <laughs> Victoria Watson Sapajak as Additional Voices, Angie DJ J in The Grey, a Wild Audio Drama, <laughs> and Wing Lee as Trevor in Casimir and Caroline. And the award goes to Angeli McGregor and Edgar, Edgar in King Lear. Unfortunately, they cannot be with us today, but hopefully you are feeling congratulated. And now, let's all enjoy this performance from TCDS's King Lear.
again. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, amazing. Um, <laughs> okay, give it up for the cast and crew of King Lear, everybody. Yes, slave. Okay. The next category is Best Leading Performance in a Play. The award is given to the actor that creates an enchanting performance that is well suited to the world of the play. And the nominees are um, Aidan Bennett as Uncle George in Bag Babies, Christina Gross as Isaac in The Year and Two of Us Back Here, Joanna Davila as Number 14 in The Wolves, Juliette Spaziri as Betty in Collective, in Collective Rage, a play in Five Bettys. <laughs> Mei Yin Johnston as Mary in Saltwater Moon. <laughs> Maria Perry as Rain in The Year and Two of Us Back Here. <laughs> Marissa Monk as Betty Two in Collective Rage, a play in Five Bettys. And Nell Senkovich as Betty Five in Collective Rage, a play in Five Bettys. Yes. <laughs> Let's, yeah, come on. And the award goes to Christina Gross. <laughs> Who doesn't seem to be here? Okay, thank you. I don't know why I entered from so far back. Sorry, I was enraptured with that. <laughs> Um, I am so pleased uh, to present the Dougie for Best Leading Performance in a Musical. Um, it's been a, a really rough go for musical theater throughout the pandemic, and it was so fantastic to see such a triumphant return to musical theater um, this year in campus theater. Um, well, got to turn the page. It got stuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so, uh, best leading performance in a musical goes to an actor that gave an excellent performance, both acting and vocally. And the nominees are Allison Whitmill as Carly in 18 Palace Road, Bryn Bonnie as Medea and Mythic Women in their cabaret to save humanity, Callan Murphy as Troy Bolton in High School Musical on stage. Casey Belding as Venla in Spring Awakening. Maya Bogojevec as Cassandra in Mythic Women in Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Nicholas Sikoja as Moritz in Spring Awakening. Rena Seeger as Marge in 18 Palace Road. And finally, Sydney Scott as Clytemnestra in Mythic Women in Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. And the ducky goes to Bryn Bonnie as Medea in Mythic Women in Their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Congrats, Bryn. And I'm so happy to be yet again up on the stage um, to announce the award for best leading in a virtual show. Man, even though we were in person, we were also virtual. How wacky was that? And now they're here in person. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm trying to like have bits. It's not really working. And the nominees are. <laughs> Abby Akinlade as King Lear in King Lear. Yeah. Hannah Mitchell as Leanne in Fight or Flight. Yeah. Kimia Karachi as Reagan in King Lear. Yeah. Lauren Sherwood as Caroline in Casimir and Caroline. Yeah. Liam Peter Donovan as Henry LeBlanc in The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama. Maggie Taveras as May in Fight or Flight. Yeah. Nell Sankovich as Sybil Vanity in The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama. And finally, Oliver James Perkins as Dorian Gray in The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama. And the Dougie goes to Oliver James Perkins as Dorian Gray.
Congrats, Oliver. <laughs> All righty. Now, these awards are given to not one, but two actors in a variety show or festival. These performers stood out in an ensemble variety show and added to the company in a cohesive, valuable way through the various productions that they participated in. And the nominees for best performance in a variety show slash festival are Bryn Bonnie as Magenta in Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Kara McNeil as a criminologist in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Gabriel Wu slash Milkshook as Trixie slash the host in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Maria Perry as Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Maya Bogajovic in As Columbia in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Molly Dunn as Queen Eleanor in King Henry II. Nazim Ramirez in All Together Now. <laughs> Shelly Mayer as Ada in Regen. <laughs> Sophie Berkowitz as Eddie slash Dr. Scott in Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> and last but not least, Valentine, Valentine Ledger as Rocky in Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> and these awards go to Bryn Bonnie and Sophie Berkowitz as Magenta and Eddie and Dr. Scott. <laughs> Rocky Horror! Yes. Unfortunately, Sophie cannot be here with us tonight, so Sophie, this is for you. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, we're on the right page. Good start. Okay, um, the next award um, is an honor to present, and it's for Best Direction. This award celebrates the director who created a clear world, offered specific creative choices, made use of appropriate techniques uh, that made sense for their chosen medium or presenting the production. And nominees for Best Direction are Anthony Palermo for Rihanna Boy 95. <laughs> Anthony Palermo for The Grey, a wild audio drama. <laughs> Emily Vellaney for Saltwater Moon. <laughs> Liam Peter Donovan for The Year and Two of Us Back Here. <laughs> and Sabrina Weinstein for The Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> and the award goes to Anthony Palermo for The Grey. category is a, is a certificate award for best makeup design. Anyone can tell you the impact that an amazing makeup designer can make. So without further ado, the nominees are Bryn Bonnie for Rihanna Boy 95, Gabriel Wu for Mythic Woman and their cabaret to save humanity, Kate Martins for High School Musical on stage, Kate Martins for The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Nika Gottlieb for Spring Awakening. The winner for Best Makeup Design is... Kate Martins for Rocky Horror! And she's not here, so we'll hold on to it. What she feared 
No one knew she was fading away Out of the black, white, into the gray How could I know that she wouldn't stay? She might have lived her life a lie Watching me all alone cry I didn't get to say goodbye Haven't you seen her? Look in the mirror, you think she's dead and gone. You pray that she'll be back by dawn. But what you'll find is all along, when they let her sing her song, the ghost of her was always there inside. This has been you the whole time. And now you must Confess your cry. No hiding from the image that's come clearer. Look in the mirror. Whoa, she's off, she's dancing like no one has seen before. in the place and she's taking up her space in this moment she's not falling from her grace but underneath nobody knew that none of it was true when she takes off all her makeup she's gotta wake up and realize that it's all an act she's dressing up She's playing pretend, but the day has got to end. She's making up for everything she's lacked. Looking in the mirror, that's not the girl she's seen. She'll never be, never be, never, never, never gonna be, never gonna be a beauty queen. <laughs> Escape the noise. Pretty people have easy. All they think about is sex and boys. <laughs> Me, I gotta go my own way. Try to copy people I'm not. That worked out kind of funny. Cause every time I shoot my shot, I was invisible and all too seen. A disco ball of fire. A cosmic catastrophe. Waiting for the earth to implode. I was a maniac on some guitar that no one would listen to. So I had to run. run. 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 So I had to. You were always chasing something. Never really heard my voice. I was busy counting dollars. And finally I made my choice. Me, I gotta go my own way. Find a world where I can be heard. I got my golden ticket. And now it's time to be a bird. I will be visible and all too seen. A disco ball of fire. A cosmic catastrophe. Waiting for the earth to implode. Listen to So I had to run. run So I had to run, run. So I had to run. run So I had to run. run So I had to
a disco ball of fire, a cosmic catastrophe, waiting for the earth to implode. And I was a maniac on tip guitar that everybody's listened to. So I had to run, run. 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 So I had to. One more time for the gray. You know, I can't really tell if I like the audio version. Hit me up. Oh, hey, Abby. What are you doing over there? Oh, I was just checking in with the live audience. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun? I'm having fun, so I hope you're having fun. Are you ready for more awards? Because I think we're all ready, right? We're ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go. More awards. Well, while Kimia gets her ass back on the stage, I'm gonna go ahead and start presenting the next award for best play. This award recognizes the best combination of performance, design, and direction. The nominees are Bag Babies, Collective Rage, A Play in Five Bettys, Rihanna Boy 95, Saltwater Moon, and the year and the two of us back here. And this award goes to Bag Babies. Anyone from the team, please come up. Oh my gosh, exciting stuff. The next award is for best musical. Definitely not least, also not last. I would say this is the big one. Um, best musical, the nominees are, oh, I have to say the thing again. I have the honor of presenting this award <laughs> with the best combination of performance, design, and direction. And the nominees for best musical are High School Musical, On Stage, VCDS. Mythic Women and their Cabaret to Save Humanity, EDSS, Spring Awakening, SMCT, and 18 Palace Road, TCDS. And the award goes to Mythic Women and their Cabaret to Save Humanity. Who's first? Chloe. All right, this next award is Best Variety Slash Festival Slash Special Project Show. Yeah! An award with this many slashes in the name must mean that it will be given to a work with the best combination of performance, design, and direction. This can include a mix of small scenes or performances or readings. And with no plot connecting them, these still created an overall cohesive world that goes into their theatrical piece. Your nominees are... Festival of the Arts, One Act Festival by UTSC. <laughs> Hallie Kwan versus the Timekeeper, staged reading by SMCT. King Henry II, staged reading by SMCT. <laughs> Performance Festival of the Arts, One Act Festival by UTM. And the Rocker Hor Rocky Horror Picture Show by UC Follies. And the award goes to... Rocky Horror, Lucy Falls.
I'd like to thank the gays. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, you heard the woman. The gays have been thanked. <laughs> The next award of the night is for Best Virtual Show. This award is given to a play, musical, or production that uses the digital space to create the best combination of an intriguing performance. The nominees are Casimir and Caroline, Fight or Flight, King Lear, Regen, and The Grey, A Wild Audio Drama. And this award goes to the gray. I would like to thank the gays as well. virtual show, right? Yes. Okay. Hi. I'm back. All of the formal awards, I believe, are done. So I just wanted to say hi. My name is Sabrina, and I had the honor to be your president this year for the Drama Coalition. And I want to thank everyone here who was able to make this incredibly difficult year possible. Every single one of you in this room has had to sacrifice something to be able to put on your show. There was so much adversity this year and the amount of incredible performances that happened this year and the amount of talent in this room is just astounding. So a huge round of applause for all of you. All right, I also want to thank this year's Drama Coalition who went to see every single show this year and put together this award ceremony, who put together the Drama Festival, and just have been really great people to work with this year. So, give it up the Drama Coalition. <laughs> I want to especially highlight Kimia and Abigail, who put together this ceremony. This is the first time that the Duggies have taken place at Hart House Theater, and this is epic, so this is great. And lastly, I really want to thank Jillian and Doug, who have just been such incredible supports to us, whether that was advocating for students' rights to have safe rehearsal space and our rights to be able to uh, support the immense creative talents of everyone on this campus. So thank you so much to Jillian and Doug as well. And now, hidden in my, um, in my bustier, I have next year's Drama Coalition. So I'm very excited to announce them. All right, next year's Drama Coalition. Our social representative in charge of planning fun times, bar nights, socials for people to be social is Maria Perry, who is not here. And if people are here and they want to come up when I call their name, do that. Our technical representative, who is in charge of having a really keen eye for all the crazy tech needs of every show and just representing all of our incredible crew members in the campus theater scene, is Avery McMillan. <laughs> our music representative for the third year in a row <laughs> is Ashley Hang. <laughs> come up, Ashley. Ashley, come up. <laughs> Um, our communications team who are in charge of making sure that the social media is up to date so that everyone knows what's going on in Campus Theater because there are a million shows and there are a million opportunities. So the comm scene is always on top of getting everything all ready and everything all communicated. Um, is Abby Akinlade and Kara McNeil. I know they're both here, so they should come up. <laughs> and I'm going to wait until they're up here. Well, no, I'll keep going. Um, our festival uh, coordinators who are in charge of organizing the drama festival, which will happen live on the stage, hopefully for a full audience, we'll see what happens next year, is going to be Fiona Du and Anthony Palermo. <laughs> uh, 
our awards coordinators who are in charge of planning the doggies, which we are currently at, so they better do a good job, are Paul Meyer and Violet McIntosh. Your vice president for the second year in a row is Bryn Bonney. And your president, that dumb bitch, Cass Yacavalli. And I'm also not leaving. I'm going to be the alumni person. OK, cool. cool. Congratulations to the Next Drama Coalition, and thank you all for an amazing year. Um, Sabrina, I think you're forgetting something. Oh. Well, we've already flashed the audience, so. Good. All right, so me and Sabrina are here to present some fun awards of merit. These were awards uh, chosen during our nominations meeting to just get some more fun in yeah. this night. Who doesn't want more fun? It's fun to be fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so our first award of merit is for the best swings for the swings who swung. Uh, the swings who swung include Rena Gose for Mythic Women, Chloe Flowers for Casimir and Caroline and King Henry II, Charlotte Fowler for High School Musical, Angela McGugan for Radium Girls and Casimir and Caroline, Lauren Sherwood for Casimir and Caroline, and Natalie Bomer for King Lear. If any of you are here, come up and Please receive come your swings your awards. Swings really did the most this year, so thank God for swings. Wow, God, fancy awards. I never thought I'd swing my own season. But you I really happened. swung your own swung. I, I swung my own season. Yeah. Swings who swung swung and swings who swung swung. Yeah. If you swing it, you swung it. Our next award of merit is for the best air cello, which was actually a tie between two shows because two shows had air cellos in them, <laughs> um, which goes to Jenna Borden for High School Musical, <laughs> as well as Lev Talkle for Spring Awakening. I don't know if either of them are here. No, not, not neither of them are here. <laughs> All right, our next award is for the most versatile costume award. We had a lot of costumes that did some double duty, just like the cast of Radium Girls doing many things. So, is another tie for the blue jacket from High School Musical and Mythic Women, and the bald cap from Bag Babies and Rocky Horror. So, Gabe and Hannah. <laughs> Gabe and Hannah, if you are here, we have some certificates yes. for you. So come on up. And someone take this bald cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for you. <laughs> and Hannah, wherever you are. Hannah, come up. <laughs> Yay. I'm so sorry. You just hit my eye. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we've got all. Do you have the audience choice results? Audience choice. Do we have the audience choice results? Do we have the audience choice results? Uh, this is a question for Abigail and Kimia. Do we have the audience choice results? If they are here. Ooh, audience choice. Have people been voting for audience choice? Raise your hand if you voted for audience choice. You know what? It might take a minute to find out what the audience choice is. So if you haven't, if you haven't voted, now is a great time to do so yes. while we're waiting to find it. <laughs> now we're going to do the Jeopardy thing. Do, 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 do. Who's to say? <laughs> do, 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 you know what? We're still waiting. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> Someone 
things in hell up here. By a really surprising margin, Spring Awakening! Yeah. Yeah. Everyone from the team come up! Yeah, everyone from the Spring come up! That was bizarre. Congratulations, Spring Awakening! Just a jump to the left. Come <laughs> on! 
Give it up one more time for Rocky Horror. So we want to thank you all so much for coming out tonight and joining us virtually and just celebrating all of the amazing casts and crews and shows of this year. It's been such a wonderful evening, but unfortunately it has to come to an end. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it was such a difficult year filled with ups and downs, but we are so proud of the amazing work that everyone has put in. Feel free to head on over to the photo booth. Please head on over to the photo booth to take some really cute photos. And don't forget to congratulate your new DC on their new positions. We hope you enjoy the 2022 Duggies. And that's it. Stay safe. Have a good summer, everyone. Yeah.